This is your midweek Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Lloyd Allen. The $250 million NASA cruise port project may not receive financial support from local stakeholders and all as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Affairs of Tourism Minister, the Honorable Dionisio Diagler, who says retail investors may have their hands full as they, quote, may be in economic survival mode with disposable income not being flexible enough for added investments. With the transformation project still on the table, Diagla is hoping the country could benefit from a surge in construction jobs as well as a better port footing. This is once the market rebounds. In other local business developments, local grocery chain SuperValue has reported its highest ever VAT return, noting a 36% increase in store sales, this as purchases increase from locals stocking up in the face of continued lockdowns. President Rupert Roberts says SuperValue's 13 locations have $1 million less in warehouse stock compared to a year ago. Robert meantime suggests the nation could take the 10% expected sales benchmark for local produce during the buy Bahamian month and inflict a surge by as much as 30% overnight if the right conditions surface. On the international front, the struggling low-cost airline Norwegian has reported its staffing subsidiaries in Denmark and Sweden have filed for bankruptcy, meaning rough times ahead for the company. In a press release issued Monday afternoon, the airline said the financial support packages offered by the Swedish and Danish government had not been sufficiently generous to keep the subsidiaries which employ pilots and cabin crew in two countries solvent. This has been your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Lloyd Allen. Thanks for watching.